Welcome to Digital Asset News, take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring them out of bite-sized pieces. Today, I just wanna do a follow-up and talk to you why Theta has been growing by leaps and bounds and really does have to do a lot with this. It was just granted a second US patent for ultra high transaction, micro payments to support decentralized video and data delivery. On top of that, we'll take a look at Theta Swap, a decentralized exchange, and why I think this could be potentially huge, but also because of all these outrageous Ethereum gas fees. So we'll take a look at what is going on there. And then uh, I wanna follow up with a cryptocurrency project that has partnerships with things like Uber, Lenovo, Sega, Lego, Nike, Adidas, which we talked about in Trinity Trading, which I just can't believe I haven't seen this before. So we'll talk about those two things, but first let's take a look at what's going on into the market. So uh, first up, it is uh, March 19th, and uh, we just followed up with the uh, tax story and the story about Morgan Stanley. And again, I think it's gonna be huge for, I mean, just for institutions just to look and go, we gotta get in, we gotta get in. And if, if these things don't make you FOMO, as far as like for institutions go, I don't think anything will. And again, I think, I think an ETF could actually be happen. I, uh, we just did a story about this a week ago, but uh, hey, I could be wrong. Uh, we'll find out. Anyhow, so Bitcoin, what do we got today? Uh, we just talked about this, not too bad. So again, it's around 15, almost 59,000. Um, the market cap's around 1.8 trillion. Isn't that amazing, 1.8 trillion? I mean, think about it, right? We were just excited, uh, you know, what about a year ago when we hit 200 billion. I remember it was like, ooh, 200 billion. We're finally making our way up. And now, like if it goes below 1.5 trillion, we're like, what the heck is going on in this crazy uh, market? At some point, I was talking to my friend George yesterday, at some point, we're going to be talking, but like, wow, can you believe we're at 5 trillion already? Wow, can you believe we're at 8 trillion? Wow, can you believe we're, we've matched the market cap of gold? Wow, can you believe we actually passed the market cap of gold and we're at $15 trillion? That's amazing. These are things right around the corner. Look, uh, in 2017, we weren't, we were kind of close to a trillion, we were like $840 billion, but that was the top out point because the roads weren't built, the infrastructure wasn't made, the institutions weren't there, people really couldn't get it. On ramps and off ramps kind of sucked. But here we are, all that hard work for three years. And if you were here back then and you're here now, congratulations, because uh, this is the fruits of your labor, really it is. Anyhow, Bitcoin, Ethereum, everything's pretty much the same. But if you take a look here, Uniswap is up. I don't know why. Try to use Uniswap today. Fees almost crushed me. Didn't even, couldn't even get the transaction going. Whatever. Um, but Theta token. Theta token, I've been talking about this for months now. I learned this from Digital Dave. And he talked about Theta. I took a look at it, a real deep dive, and it, it just totally made sense. I like things that work, that do things, and have a great team behind them, and have a great vision. And uh, this is where you get you get a, a token that wasn't even in the top 200, all of a sudden it goes up and here we are, uh, oh my God, we're number 14 already. So this could be, I mean, I had a, a price prediction around 20 bucks and I think that's uh, that's way low for, for what Theta is gonna do. So let's just take a look at what's going on and why this is really jumping up so much. First up, um, when you get a US patent, it takes a long time. You can. You can actually go through the process and like, you know, uh, put the paperwork in, but it'll just be sitting there for a while. But when you actually get granted a, pa a patent, uh, that's a long time coming. So this is what happened on, when was this? March 15th, which was, gosh, four days ago. I just totally missed it. I didn't even know this actually happened. I was like, huh, data is going up. I just thought it was because there's the project people were finding. But again, there's always something behind the story. So US patent number, blah, blah, blah. Uh, methods and systems for blockchain incentivized data streaming and delivery over a decentralized network was granted on March 15th. So what they're trying to do is actually pay you for caching your, uh, your bandwidth to be used through Theta. And I think that's the big thing. So like right now, like I always say, like, what are you doing right now? You're watching me. Uh, what do you do? What do, what, do you, a lot of, a lot of, what do a lot of you have done throughout the year uh, if you were furloughed? or if you were working remotely. Well, you probably use Zoom. You probably did a lot of different things uh, online and that takes a lot of bandwidth. And I don't think it's so much as like, I mean, Zoom is one thing, but here in YouTube land and every other place that streams service, you got your Netflix, you got your Amazons, you got your Hulu and all that stuff. Um, I feel so old when I say that. These kids and their Hulu, 
But it just goes to show you that like um, all these things are going to take a massive amount of bandwidth. And to really get uh, like an HD, a 4K or something like that, a streaming service, you're going to need a lot of different things that are uh, allocated all the way around. So that's pretty much what Theta does. But the thing is, is that for them to do that, they have to be able to pay people, uh, people like you and me, just to run a node or to download some software. And that's exactly what's going on here. And they got to be able to pay them. And what do they pay them in? Usually TV. We'll talk about that in a bit. So this new patent focuses on the unsolved need to design a unique and trusted payment system powered by blockchain. It builds on their first patent, which was methods and systems for a decentralized data streaming and delivery network, Theta, which was granted uh, September 8th, 2020. So again, when we talk about if we're early or if we're late, <laughs> We are so early. Walk down the street right now and ask anybody about Theta. Ask people about Bitcoin, they probably know it, right? And Ethereum, maybe. But if you start talking about like, hey, do you know about Chainlink? Hey, do you know about Theta? Hey, do you know about Tomato Coin? Which I have 2 million, I just minted those on Cardano. It's a joke, but uh, no one knows that. So when you think about like how early you really are, this is the big thing. So imagine what it is right now, imagine what, all the bandwidth that, that is going to be used in a year, three years, five years, and the price point that Theta could be at. So uh, if you're like me, I've been accumulating this for a long time. This is a long time coming. Anyhow, and, and also, lastly, before I go on, uh, just so you know, I've, I've talked this before, I'm super biased in this channel. Like everything I talk about is pretty much things that I own. So if I don't own it, I rarely talk about it. And uh, I know people will say, I'm not biased. Everybody's biased, uh, so that's just how it is. Anyhow, content delivery networks are predicted by Cisco to carry 72% of internet traffic by 2022. They play an important role in distributing uh, web content, streaming video data, and by, promoting, by providing a backbone infrastructure to deliver data streams and users. Sure, we just talked about. But here's the concern. So to do all that stuff, it costs a boatload of money to do those types of things. So imagine like all the, all the infrastructure that you have to build. Imagine Imagine Google, they have to build YouTube and the servers and everything. They also have to actually just store that and actually put it out to the people, which, I mean, they collect a lot of money, but that takes a lot of money to do. So how do you cut down costs? Because that's what all companies are doing. Well, you do something like with Theta and just say, hey, uh, everybody download this and uh, we're going to use your unused bandwidth. And we'll pay in this little T-Fuel stuff, which isn't worth much, uh, wasn't worth much three months ago. And now here we are, T-Fuel rocketed up by like hundreds of percent in no time. So to overcome such bandwidth limitations, the user share redundant or unused computing bandwidth storage resources, incentivizing users to actively share available resources, require a secure and minimally delayed payment method that is compatible with the decentralized nature of this network. That's the second patent. Therefore, there's a need to design a payment system for decentralized data streaming with support for high, ultra high transaction speed. And then it goes to some other stuff. Boring. So that's what's going on. And I think this is one of the things that kind of moves the market. Uh, when you get a patent on you, I think it's a, it's a pretty big, pretty big move on top of the fact that this was also launched, Theta Swap. Now I take a look at this and um, you have to connect your wallet. And I'm very leery about it because when it does this, it takes me to uh, the Theta wallet for a Google Chrome extension. I just, every since I've been hearing about these hacks and things like that, I'm just like, can you do it a better way? Than that, I, I know I'm sure it's the right one, but I'm very cautious and very reserved. So I'm like, I'll check it out later. But uh, I mean, this only makes sense because this was a transaction I tried to do just a couple of days ago. And uh, here was my transaction fees. So I was trying to do some kind of swap and it was like 50, I, it was like 52 bucks I wanted to spend, but the gas fee was 53. So the total was 105 and that's insufficient funds. If you're new to crypto, this isn't normal. This is, well, I guess it has been normal for quite some time, actually. I'd say like three to six months, maybe longer. Um, but ETH 2.0 is coming out in maybe sometime, and there's an EIP 1559 that's going to come out in no time, and maybe these fees will go away. I don't think so, but uh, we will see. So uh, growing pains, that's all I can tell you, right? So there's that. I think that was a, another prime indicator. And then if you want to take a look at what this all is and you want to earn T fuel and stake everything, you want to stake your Theta, all you got to do is go to theta, theta token.org, which you can, I, uh, I'll link that in the description below. 
If you want to find out the video of how to stake, I made one over there at uh, danteachescrypto.com. It's a 100% free website. You can check that out. I give all the information that I can possibly be free. And the reason I did it was because uh, there's a lot of people in, a, in the world that can't afford a membership. So why would I charge for it? It's just pretty simple. I put the information out. It's easy. And then you can just, uh, this is the whole thing. So when you go to thetatoken.org, it says download the Theta Edge node to participate. Click on join today. And you can either do one of two things. A Theta Guardian node, which is Guardian node, earn T-Fuel by staking Theta, or a Theta Edge node where you can earn T-Fuel by caching popular streams. And here's the enterprise validator nodes, which are, have like a ton of Theta. Google, Sony, Samsung, Binance, Blockchain, Gumi, Gummy, how do you say it? That's also a big reason. And then on top of that, I've talked about this before, but with uh, with Theta token, you know, you got people like Steve Chen, co-founder of YouTube, and that's a great advisor, pretty much. And then, of course, uh, Theta Mainnet 3.0, where everything gets an upgrade, is coming in 33 days. So, as time goes on, I can only tell you, I think the price of Theta will go up. Not financial advice, but I will probably be buying a little bit more myself, even though I'd accumulated much in the past. So. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think this uh, Theta could be a game changer? It could be a great thing, or you think it's just a passing fad? Let me know in the comment section. Let's move on to our next piece. So next up, uh, we had covered this yesterday uh, on Trinity Trading, and that's where I do trading, which I don't ever do, only with, uh, it's, it's me, Alex Maschioli from Trade the Chain, and uh, CJ from Record Rebellion. And we each have our own little function. I do fundamental analysis weekly, I might add, week. And then uh, Alex does sentiment analysis and CJ does technicals. Those guys are great. And they just take a look at what uh, is moving the market. And the two that we found, one was Harmony and the second one was Stormax. And Alex has been chewing my ear off about this thing forever, uh, at least a couple of months now. And I'm like, yeah, I'll look into it. Yeah, I'll look into it. I, I, just, I just didn't because like, I get busy. I mean, I just get busy. So with Stormax, it was one, one that came up as like really popping and, and coming out. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'll put a little money into it. And then late last night, I was like, maybe I should probably look a little bit deeper into what this thing really does because it was just a, a, a small little trade. But I have to tell you, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, if you believe in utility and you believe in function, you believe in Metcalf's law where all the different connections, the more connections that you have, the more your, the value, however you want to designate value as will increase. This, I think, is a winner. It's been around since 2014. Uh, it's well featured there. It's not a big thing. But the crazy thing is that they've got all these partnerships with all these different companies. So what does this do? So it's just like that, that app, Honey. I don't know where you're, where you're listening. If you are in Bangladesh, if you are in Melbourne, if you are in you know, London. I, I don't know if you have, but there's one called Honey. I think Honey was only in the United States. I think it was actually, so sorry. But Honey, you just put it on your, your browser and every place you went to go shop, whatever you bought, it would give you like a little cash back, which is pretty cool, right? You just didn't have to do sh anything and it would just be like cash back money, right? Well, StormX does the same thing, except it's crypto back and it's pretty substantial. And this is all the places you can go. So I'm listening to myself, like I just bought some, some Nikes a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, shoot, I could have gotten crypto back for doing that. That would have been awesome. But of course, I missed out because why? Because I was too busy. I didn't listen to Alex. I should listen. So anyhow, so it does that. And then the big thing was, well, first of all, how does it work? How does it work? And of course, the more that you have, the more cash back that you get. Also, you can stake it for like, it's either 17 or 18%, which is pretty high. But anyhow, for just like the Voyager loyalty program, just like the Binance loyalty program, just like all the different loyalty programs that are out there, this is what will give you some of those factors. So like this, you, you need 3,000 uh, StormX to unlock just the 1.25 cashback reward, which is hey, great, whatever else, right? 1.25 on top of whatever it is, right? Silver, 31,000, that's 1.5X. Gold is 310,000, that's pretty good. You get 2X cashback rewards plus 25% reward time reduction and a bunch of other things. Like, I don't know who's got 6.2 million stomach, but whatever, right? If you do, good for you. 3.5X, 7%. So, uh, where was it? There was this one where like over on, uh, I think it was the Adidas site, you get like 6% back or something like that. So then you get a multiplier 
with that and then so on and so forth. So again, um, there's more to it. I'm sure I'm not doing it justice, but I just wanted to go over and tell everybody about it because it's like CJ talks about, right? You know, there's something going on. So like Soros says, uh, invest first, do research later. So I'm just giving you like a little piece and snippet of it. I invite you to do your own research, but uh, I invested a little bit yesterday and I will be investing more. I'm also going to check out that interview that Alex had with the CEO and maybe I can get him on here to talk about StormX. But um, yeah, I mean, to me, it only makes sense that people are going to buy stuff, right? You're going to buy stuff. So if you're going to buy stuff and you have a product that's been around for quite some time that has already been proven, which has 700 different partnerships that you can implement right now and you can download the darn thing on Google Chrome or the App Store and put it on your phone and then just get crypto back, like, why wouldn't you do it? I'm going to do it right now. Actually, I should do a video and show you exactly how it's done. And I don't see why this wouldn't work out. Now, there's a lot of tokens. I think it's like a billion types of things, a billion types, a billion types, a billion amount of tokens for the, uh, not just the circulating supply, but the max supply. So that's one of the factors that doesn't really excite me. But again, if you're talking about globally, and then also what we were just talking about, you know, Honey, the one I was taught, I, I said, you know, where you put it on your, your browser and you get to, you know, get cash back. That was acquired by our friends PayPal for $4 billion, and they are just in America. So the thing about uh, StormX is they are global, and they have you know millions of users, so who knows where this could go to. And PayPal is already doing a lot of things with cryptocurrencies and digital assets, so who knows? I have no idea. Again, this is not financial advice. This is something that I see and I will be investing into a little bit more, and you probably hear more about it as I talk about it. Again, biased. That's the truth. All right. So look, that's it for today. I want to say uh, if you made it all this way. Thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate it. If you liked the video and you got some value out of it, give it a thumbs up. That'd be fantastic. It always helps the channel tremendously for a like. And also, if you uh, appreciated it and you want to uh, subscribe, do so now. That would also help uh, tremendously. So that's it for today. Thanks so much. I'll link two more videos on the left and right if you like these types. And uh, that's it. So I will uh, see you on the next one.